Got another video on the 99 Honda Accord. This time we're uh, upgrading the headlights to some LED halo lights, full assemblies. Okay, so really quick here, just want to show you what I'll be putting on. So I got these are from a company called Spec D Tuning. And uh, show the assembly. So that's what they look like. They got the halos and then you got the LEDs. And then of course turn signal and all that. And these are the gloss black ones. They have them in a matte black finish and then also like a chrome shiny finish. So you can see we're going to have to wire up a couple things on it. But um, got these off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for them. And uh, they were right at about 140 bucks. So in order to get these headlight assemblies out, we're going to have to uh, remove the front bumper. So go ahead and pop your hood. So you'll need to remove these two uh, pins right here. This is uh, aftermarket style here because I think this bumper's been removed before. But so you may have a different style clip. So go ahead and try to get a trim tool under here. Let's pop these off. Same with this one. See that one just broke that's all right we got more okay so next you want to come underneath the bumper here and normally there would be clips um but as you can see there's a couple down there they are all missing on this i got one right here barely holding on and it's not even doing anything it looks like as you can see this plastic piece here is just broke so and I think normally this car would have a skid plate as well, but it's missing the skid plate as well. So if you got the uh, these little push pins here, just go ahead and take those out. Next, you'll come over here to the driver's side wheel well. And you'll see right up there, we got an 8 millimeter bolt we need to remove. So let's go ahead and do that. And then same thing on the passenger side here. So then if you come down below the bumper here, right in front of the tire, you'll have a 10 millimeter bolt there. But as you can see, this one's busted off as well. So uh, let's go ahead and check the other side. All right guys, so looking at this side too, you can see this side's broke as well. So hopefully yours is, isn't broke and then you'll just remove those two uh, 10 millimeter bolts right here. So then what you wanna do is come over here and you kind of just pull out on this. Just like that. Same thing on this side here. Get up under here. Like that. And then you can go ahead and just remove this whole front part here. Okay. And then as you can see, this styrofoam piece just came off. It looks like this tab's broken. But that just kind of sits in here like that. And then it looked like Somebody had taped that on there, so I'll have to retape it. Next, you want to remove this 10 millimeter bolt on top here, then pull that off. And then come over here to the side, and you'll see you got a 10 millimeter right there. underneath it here you'll see you got two 10 millimeter bolts there that we also need to remove then you can remove this bracket out of here and then you should be able to pull this out got this bracket right there So then what you can do, turn signal bulb here, just twist that out, because we'll be reusing that one. And you can unplug your uh, low and high beam here. 
same with this one. And then you can twist out this parking bulb here. So what you want to do next is, um, you see the wire connector here? This was for your low beam. So take a razor, because we're going to have to splice into this uh, for the uh, halo lights, which would be your driving lights. So just take a razor and kind of cut through this um, heat wrap here. Expose the wires. Go a little more here. Just make sure you don't cut the wire. So you can see you got those exposed. And then um, I already used my meter. Of course, your black's going to be your negative, and then your red's going to be your positive. And then for your uh, little parking light here, because we will be reusing that bulb, but not the harness. Um, so you want to do kind of the same thing, expose this, but we're going to cut it off. And uh, so go ahead and cut this open here. Close that a little bit here. So then just go ahead and uh, cut these right here. I'm just gonna go right there. Maybe my cutters will cut. Let's just try cutting one here. Same with this one. And then go ahead and take your light, new one, and then you'll see we've got these wires. So you can just go ahead and pull this out of here. And then we'll have to stick our new bulb in there or our bulb out of that one. But let's go ahead and wire this up real quick. So then go ahead and uh, strip some of this back. Of course, you got your positive and your negative. Uh, black be negative, positive red. Let's go ahead and strip some of this back here. Like that. Twist it up a little bit here. And then I'll be using, the kit didn't come with these. I just had some of these on my own. But uh, they'll come with our, uh, you'll take this, these are the heat shrink tubing there, and then uh, go ahead and stick that in one end here. And then uh, grab you some crimpers. I'm gonna crimp this one side. So about right there. Crimp that, make sure that's nice and tight. Do the same to this one. Stick that end in there. Go ahead and crimp that. Make sure that's tight. And then go ahead and take your other end here. And we'll match the black with the black and then the uh, white with the positive or red. So go ahead and stick that one in there. Crimp this one. And then same thing on this one here. Just like that, let me go get a lighter and we'll uh, light that up. 
shrink some of that real quick. So then just take your lighter here, we'll lightly melt these on the ends. Just kind of like that. And then go ahead and pull your bulb out of here. And then you can put that in the socket here. We'll just set that right there for right now. All right guys, so next, um, so they give you these little connector things that you can splice into uh, the driving light here. But I'm not a fan of these, um, just because they're exposed to water and everything else. So I'm going to do it a little different. I'm going to be using, just like I did on the uh, parking light there, these um, heat shrink ones here. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut this here, and then I'll just go ahead and splice these in with our halo lights and everything. So go ahead and... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these here. Probably about right in the middle here. Cut those. So then with this connector here, you can go ahead and uh, strip some of this back. It's about like that. And then what I'm gonna do so we'll take our uh, our low beam, which would be right here, and uh, you can see that'll just plug right into there. And then what you want to do is they say we need to wire these up. So I went ahead and did was I just uh, you got your two negatives here. So I'm going to wire these up together, and then what I'll do is I'll wire that. To this negative as well so just kind of like that and then what I'll do is uh, I'll grab my heat shrink and we'll go ahead and crimp that so then grab your heat shrink tubing here again make sure this is twisted really tight all three of those together and then I'll go ahead and stick this through here. Hold that. And then we'll go ahead and crimp that on one end here. Give it a tug, make sure all three are staying put. Then grab your uh, two white ones here. Pull that off and then uh, I like to just make sure these are all the same length so get them kind of lined up and then just go ahead and take you some cutters get them all the same length here go ahead and twist those together nice and tight piece of tubing go ahead and stick that in there again make sure that's twisted nice and tight here go ahead and crimp that that a tug make sure those all stay put looks like we're good so now let's go ahead and uh, get our turn signal bulb installed here so before I do that turn signal bulb let's go ahead and uh, strip this back first so we'll be ready to crimp that together
like that. So then just kind of get your assembly set here. And we can go ahead and put this parking bulb in place. So stick that in there. Push that in. And uh, let's get some of this plastic back here. So I'm just going to kind of set it up here so we can get that uh, cramped here. Now with that kind of sitting there, grab your crimping tool and let's go ahead and get your black, black to black and then your uh, red to red here. I'm not sure how well you guys can see this, but go ahead and twist these a little bit here. Then you can take your lighter again and let's go ahead and melt these real fast together. And let's see, I'm just going to kind of put this uh, protective back around here if I can. Kind of go around it a little bit here. Just kind of like that. And then uh, go ahead and connect your high beam here. Just try not to get those all tangled up here. Connect your high beam. Like that. Next we'll do this uh, turn signal here and you can see got this little sticker here it says to remove Let's go ahead and pull that off of there I guess they just put that on there so you don't get dust and debris in there during shipping and then you can go ahead and take your bulb this will just screw. I have to get this up in here a little better. And then we'll just pop in there. That'll give you much room. place okay so before I go ahead and start um, bolting it back on there let's go ahead and just turn the lights on and let's just make sure everything works so you can see right there got our uh, turn signal parking uh, light and then of course our headlight with our halo halo and then the LED so let's try the brights See the brights working, and let's try the hazards. So there's our hazards, our turn signal. And you can see that's working, so looks good. All right, guys. So I tried to put this back in, and uh, this part right here is actually hitting. There's not enough room because this part for the uh, air intake is going to be in the way. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is just try to cut. I'll use a razor here. I'm going to try to cut the plastic. Just cut a little bit out of here. Just enough for this to fit in between there. Alright guys, so as you can see, I went ahead and just took my razor blade. Just kind of cut along this. And uh, that should be enough to uh, get this up in there. So let's go ahead and do that. 
So go ahead and grab your light here. Make sure uh, none of these wires get pinched in here. And then I also had to put this uh, parking light. There's a little hole through here. Feed that through there. And then, like I said, just watch your wires here. Get those slid in. And then you'll see your, get your top bolt here, kind of where it should be. It's about like that. All right, let's go ahead and grab your uh, bracket here. Grab your bolt. And there is difference between the uh, top one and the side one over here. So the side one's gonna be the shorter of them. So go ahead and get this kind of, you may have to move this just a little bit. Get it lined up. Just go ahead and get that started. So next we'll go ahead and do this screw and then those two there. And so when we pulled the original one off, it had this uh, black bracket. And if you see, we try to put this back on and it will not fit on here because it hits right on the uh, piece right here. So I'm not gonna go ahead and install it. It doesn't say anything about it in the instructions. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this off. So go ahead and get your screw started here. Same with these two down here. Move it however you need to. Grab your 10 millimeter. Let's go ahead and tighten those up. And go ahead and tighten this one up the rest of the way. Next, go ahead and remove your plastic film here. And you can see, looks pretty good. All right guys, so with that side on, I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, passenger side here. I'm not gonna record it because it should be the exact same. If there is any differences, I'll let you know. But uh, I can see already that this one, you can see it's missing the bracket. So I don't know if somebody's been in here before or what, or if it just comes on the driver's side, not really sure, but. Let me go ahead and uh, get this one wired up real quick. All right, guys, so as you can see, got the uh, passenger side all on and uh, wired up, and it was exactly the same as the driver's side. And uh, for the passenger side, you do not have to cut out anything. Um, it'll bolt up right into there. So let's go ahead and uh, get the bumper on really quick. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, styrofoam piece back on here. Get that in that tab over there. Like I said, this one was missing. But you can see they already have tape on it, so I'm just going to put some more tape just to kind of hold this here. Next, go ahead and grab your bumper. Go ahead and get that kind of on here. Get your side panel put back in here, and then uh, get this back up underneath here, up over this uh, little clip here. Got to kind of work with it here. Grab your eight millimeter and let's go ahead and stick that back into place here. It's kind of hard to see up in there. Try to get it behind this part there like that. So same thing with this side, 
get it up over that clip there and then bring it down like that same thing on this side grab your two clips for up top here may have to push in a little bit and then of course your clips for down below here if you got any um, not sure if I got ones that'll work or not, but let's go ahead and find out. Like that. And then, of course, don't forget and tighten these up if you had to remove them. But like I said, mine were broke, so... All right guys, so there's the uh, final product. You can see that looks a lot better than them uh, stock OEM ones. We'll see how these ones hold up. And I'll just give you a shot of the side here. So yeah, that looks a lot better. There's that side. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for the video. Again, this was a 1999 Honda Accord. Went ahead and replaced the stock OEM headlight assembly with the Spec D tuning ones, and they are the LED halo style. Looks a lot better than before, and hopefully you can see a lot better with them as well. So hopefully this video helps you out. If it does, why don't you subscribe to the channel? I got quite a few uh, videos on this car alone, so check those out if you're interested. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.